Hey guys, Andy here, and today we welcome back an old friend, the Shure MV7 Dynamic Microphone. Stay tuned. So yeah, as you guys know, I had the Shure MV7 mic for a few years before I unfortunately had to sell it because I was a little low on cash before starting my uh, now full-time job. And nearly a year later to the day, I finally bought it back. So I decided to go with the original because I really enjoyed how my voice sounded and it made my tutorials and everything just sound amazing. And there is a newer version out right now, but I decided to just go with uh, the one I know because it's a little bit cheaper and I really miss it. Full disclaimer, this is a used model, so I don't know if stuff's gonna be in the right spots or if there's gonna be like packaging open or anything like that. So it may not be exactly like it would be if you get this new or new. <laughs> because it is the original model. So just a little uh, disclaimer there before we begin. But uh, before we begin the, uh, the unboxing of this bad boy, let's uh, take a tour of the box, shall we? Now surprisingly, when I first got this, I never did an unboxing video. So we're correcting that today as well. So yeah, taking a look at the front of the box here. It's just as beautiful as the day I lost her. So it says, sure, take your sound to the next level. MV7 podcast microphone for podcasting, home recording, and gaming. It has uh, both USB and XLR output. Now, since this is the original model, it's a micro USB. The newer one has USB-C. And on the left side, the box is left side, you have the MV7 logo and this cool little design here. And then on the box's right side, you have another cool design as well with this, uh, this guy over here just kind of listening in. And then on the top, you have a uh, little sticker. It says like Amazon used, um, actually this is uh, upside down. So it's like Amazon used stuff. So normally it wouldn't come with this, but I got it used off of Amazon. So there you go. Normally it's just white. Let's take a look at the bottom. Same deal. It's got some used Amazon sticker, thingamadoos, a little barcode. Um, it's got some other stuff down here as well. Uh, just some basic stuff and things, nothing too impressive. But the real magic happens behind. So it has like a full breakdown of different things. It has like voice isolation, auto levels, ready for live streaming, customizable sound, uh, real-time headphone monitoring. That's another thing you can plug in your headphones to a three and a half millimeter jack. Has a touch panel control. Uh, it's mic stand compatible. Uh, I bought a mic stand for it a while ago, never sold it. So I still have it prepped and ready to go for the next part of the video. Um, and that just kind of goes over in detail more of the stuff that it has. It's USB and XLR compatible. So if I want to get like a sound deck or something like that, I can do that. Um, then it just has it in different languages and it's compatible with the Sure Plus Motif audio app, which is what I use for a lot of kind of real time stuff and things. And we'll get more into that later in the video. So now that we've gone over the box, let's see what lies beneath. Stay tuned. So yeah, here is the mic. Let's open it from the top. With our trusty skizzers. All right, so now that we have the tape off, let's go ahead and open it. So, have all of this. And it says here, welcome to better sound. So let's, oh. <laughs> uh, it's not an unboxing unless something goes wrong, right? Right. I think it actually happened with the original one too. So let's continue to open this bad boy. Let's just pull it out of the sleeve here. Nothing else inside, so yeet. Then we'll continue to open it from this side as well. And it just kind of opens like that. So as you can see here, it has the Shure little plug for the, uh, the Motif app, which I already have installed and I have all my old presets and everything still on there. So yeah, no need to preach to the choir here. So yeet. We have a uh, quick start guide as well. Still the original packaging, cool. Not even open, so here's that. Yeet. Before we get to the piece of resistance here, we have the side stuff as well to get into. And that is um, the micro USB cable, which is very useful. Um, it's 
pretty long too, actually. So this is not too bad. We're gonna be saving this for sure. And then here, Oh, that's interesting. This didn't come with the original. This is a micro USB to USB-C cable. About the same length too. Hmm, interesting. So, might have a use for that later. Um, so let's go ahead, put this back and get into the bottom here because I see a little something something off to the side. And that's just um, more guides and things like that from shore, like a little safety precaution as well. So there's that. And now there's nothing else left in the box. So yeet. And now, oh wait, there's one more little thing inside the main shell here. And that is a conversion ring. So you can convert your uh, mic stand if you have like a different size mic stand. There's a little, it's hard to make out on here, but it's a little conversion ring to change different mic stand sizes. Might be useful. So now, for realsies this time, here is the piece de resistance. This is the mic itself. Neat. So still in the original packaging. Boop. Very nice, very nice. So here is the Shure original MV7. Looks pretty good. In the back here we have the XLR input, the headphone jack for monitoring, and then we have the micro USB port. And then here is just uh, model number, things like that. And then on this side you have the touch panel, so you can kind of slide it to adjust the mic gain, or you can just press this button to mute it or cycle in the headphones as well. So you can switch between headphone volume and mic gain. So that's pretty cool. Then of course you have the front part of the mic where all the magic happens. Um, this little puff ball thing isn't really as effective as on other Shure mics. So I have a little solution for that, but uh, just undo this bad boy so you can see the magic within. And here we go. That's what it looks like on the inside right there pretty cool huh so now that we've unboxed this bad boy let's hear how it sounds stay tuned so yeah finally got the mic all plugged in but before we get into listening how it sounds let's compare it to my current mic which is the deity v mic d4 mini it's a on-camera mic which i have currently plugged in to my panasonic gh5 i have it as close to where it was before just to maintain uh, comparisons. And then now we're gonna switch over to the Shure MV7. So yeah, now you're listening to me through the Shure MV7. I have my old presets and everything up here thanks to the Shure Plus Motif app, which we'll switch to right now. So yeah, here we are at the Shure Plus Motif app, which is the app I originally used to record on the MZ7 mic. As you can see, it has the profile here. It also does firmware updates, which when I loaded this app up for the first time in literally years, it updated the mic firmware and everything to its most current setting. It has different presets and stuff, which I saved. I have just two, the live and record. So for record, I have it record at a lower gain volume. I have the monitor mix 50-50. I don't really listen in on headphones for the monitor. Uh, the EQ is flat, limiters on, and compressor is at medium. I also have live monitors on too, just so I can see if the mic is working. And it is, so great. Now the difference between the record and the live preset is the gain and the amount of compression. So everything else being the same, uh, the mic gain is up all the way at 36 decibels, limiter is still on, and the compressor is on heavy. So th those are the main differences. Um, when I'm just recording, because I'm editing in post, I don't need the gain to be up all the way. So I have a little more leeway if I talk a little bit louder versus when I'm live, I'm live, and I can just 
adjust it on the fly and if the gain is a little high or whatever it's fine but it just can't be too low so that's the reason i have the two presets but now we have the new version of the app called motif mix which is currently in beta at the time of this recording it has a lot of the same settings and everything as the motif app originally had but it has it laid out a lot different this you can drag and drop different input sources and stuff like that monitor you can adjust different levels and stuff like that as you can see i still have the sure mv7 here go to device settings to see the different settings right now i just have it on record mode which was exactly as it was on the motif plus 21 decibel mic gain flat eq limiter now on <laughs> i have to remember to keep turning it on uh, compressor at medium now and then the leds the same yep this is the um, current level that i like it at for record and this is kind of the basic layout of the motif mix as i said before it's in beta so i imagine this is going to change a lot and also before we go this also has a recorder built in as well so if you don't want to open up uh, audition or audacity or whatever to record it has its own built-in recorder which motif did not have which is nice uh, for the purposes of this video i'm just recording it through obs but i imagine later i'll start using this versus recording an audition so it'll just render it as a wave and i can just edit it in audition so yeah pretty neat so yeah that was my unboxing re-unboxing second time the best time for this Shure MV7 mic, original Shure MV7 mic. And it's good to have my old friend back. And I can't wait to start making more videos, doing more voiceover, and especially doing more video editing tutorials. I really love the way this mic sounds for those especially. And I've just been waiting to save up for this mic again to uh, get back in the saddle with that. It's good to have you back, old friend. So with that said, this is Andy. Sign up for now, as always, and forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.